Hey, what is up guys? It's Brennan here and today I'm gonna be showing you how to add a background image to a section on your Shopify store. As you can see here, we currently have this added to a text section where it's talking about the brand. And as you can see here, we do have a background image inside this section. I'm gonna be showing you step-by-step -step how to do this in this Shopify tutorial here in today's video. This is essentially what we're going to be achieving and you can really paste whatever image that you want. You can upload any kind of image and you can add this to any section on your Shopify store, whether it be this uh, rich text section or behind a video, behind blog posts or collapsible content, really any kind of section that you have where you want a background image, that's what we're going to be doing here in today's video. And without further ado, let's go ahead and dive right into it. So first things first, you're gonna wanna make sure that you are of course logged into your Shopify store. Next, what you're going to want to do is come over here to the left-hand side and click on content. Now, after you click on content, then you're going to be clicking on files. And this will bring you to the files section on your Shopify store. Uh, now you can also alternatively search for files here uh, in the search box and click on files. This is where you're going to be uploading, managing, and deleting files, including this background image that we're going to be adding to your Shopify store. So as you can see here, I do have a wide variety of different images already uploaded to the Shopify store, but if you don't already have the image uploaded to your store, all you have to do is come up here to the top right hand corner, click upload files, and it will then bring up your, um, you know, your computer's file selector. You know, you go through here and you select um, wherever you have your file stored uh, on your computer. And then once you have done that and selected the image that you want, it will then appear here inside your uploaded images. Now you may have to scroll down a little bit depending on you know where it is or which one you're going to want to select. As you can see here on the example I already showed you, I utilized this image. We're going to be using a different image um, just to show you the difference here as to what it can look like. So we have this pocket watch on black. What you're going to want to do is go ahead and you know have this tab open on your Shopify store so that you have the ability ready to copy this link. We're not going to be copying this link just yet, but go ahead and keep this on one tab in your Shopify store. Um, you know, on your computer so that you have the image link that you want to copy and paste into your Shopify store. So we're going to keep this page open. We've already uploaded the image that we want to use for our background image. And now we have it saved here and we have this copy link available to us. We're not going to copy it just yet because we do actually have to copy some other code to get it to work on the store first. Um, so we're going to go ahead and keep this tab open. And next what we're going to do is come over here on the left hand side to online store. Now you can click middle mouse button to open this up in a new tab. Um, and this will bring you to the sales channels. Alternatively, you could also, you know, right click and click open link in new tab. Um, that's something else you can do as well to open the online store editor in a new tab, just so that you make sure that you keep this tab open with your file section on your store. Alternatively, you could just come back to this a little bit later in the video. Um, but I want to make sure you, of course, you've uploaded that image. Next, you're going to come over here to online store and under the themes section on your Shopify store. Now, currently I am using the most up-to-date version of the Dawn theme on Shopify. So this may look a little bit different depending on what kind of Shopify store you're using. And if you are, you know, on the latest up-to-date version, this should work for most current themes on Shopify. Um, if you're using the Dawn theme, or even if you're using a lot of the other online store 2.0 themes, you should be good to go. Next, you're going to come over here to the customize button, and this will bring up the theme editor on your Shopify store. So as you can see here, we scroll around, right? We click on any of these different um, sections. There's not really an area for you to, you know, edit the background image if you want to change that, especially for a lot of the different types of sections that you can add to your Shopify store. They don't have the ability for you to change the background image. Now, yes, you can change it on the banner um, and that's pretty easy and straightforward, but if you wanna change it on any of these other more customizable areas, such as this text section, um, or another popular one that a lot of people do like to edit as well, if we click on add section, um, or if we go back here under the featured product, we scroll down um, just above the video, we click add section, uh, and then we go to, you know, multi-column, multi-row, especially the multi-column is probably a popular one. You know, this is one that typically people would maybe want to add a background image to just because you're not able to do that by default on Shopify. So what do you actually need to do, of course, to add this background image? Well, first, what you're going to want to do is, of course, select the section 
that you actually want to edit and change the background image on. So make sure you have that section added uh, on the theme editor. Now, again, currently we are editing the homepage. Technically, you could do this as well um, for any other type of part of your store where you're adding sections. Um, I get a lot of people who probably just want to do this on the homepage, but again, you can also do this as well on the product pages under the default product if you want to edit that or on your collections default collection you can do that anywhere as well again this is just focused on the home page here the simplicity of this tutorial today um, but we have the multi column selected next what you're going to come over on the left hand side you're going to scroll all the way down this is the custom css section this is actually the section that we're going to be adding the code to that will then allow you to paste in the background image URL that you want to use for your background image. Now, before we actually go ahead and paste the code in here, there is also another step that you need to do in order for this to work. So the way that a lot that these newer themes work is they have these color scheme sections. Now by default, you might be on scheme one or you maybe you have other schemes that are already built out. What you're gonna need to do is first come over here to the left hand side and click on theme settings. Then you're gonna click on colors and this brings you to the scheme editor. What we're going to be doing is creating a transparent scheme so that it will allow the background image to actually show on your Shopify store because if you don't, it'll just be covered by the color that is on these schemes. Now, if you, maybe if you have like scheme five, for example, that's what I use for the test or the demo is that essentially, you know, I'm not really using scheme th five anywhere else on the store, but if you are using maybe some of these other color schemes and other parts of your store, what you can do is just add a brand new one right here. You just click add scheme and this will create scheme six. Um, and then this is the one that we're going to be editing here for this multi-column section. And what you're gonna need to then do is come over here to background and you're going to just delete or hit the backspace button on FFFFFF, which would just be white. Um, and then it will then show transparent. Make sure that this is saying transparent here and you should see the little, you know, check chessboard or checkerboard uh, pattern here under background as transparent. And that's all you need to do. Now you can change the text, you know, the button colors, all this other stuff here if you want. Um, but you know, I would recommend maybe just having scheme six or seven as just your transparent background one when you're adding the background image to other sections on your Shopify store if you want to. Um, so you have the background transparent uh, and now you are good to go. We now have scheme six with a transparent background. Again, you just delete it and it should say none with the checkerboard background and then you're good to go, transparent, boom. So now we have the transparent scheme. So once we've added the transparent scheme and then we can come back here to the multi-column section we click multi-column um, or again any other section that you're going to be utilizing this and then we come over here to the left hand side and under color scheme we need to change this to scheme six or again on, I've already done it to scheme five as well but we're, we're using scheme six for the sake of this tutorial uh, and it is now scheme six so again you can see here a couple things are a little janky if you want to edit you know some of the other backgrounds or colors you know you can come through here uh, and change you know, maybe some of the text or some of the sections, like, I don't know. Uh, yeah, so as you can see here, that maybe looks a little bit, a little bit easier to read or something like that. Um, you know, it, it just depends on how you have things set up um, for the different columns. So we'll just go with white text, I guess, for this example here. Um, I know you can't see the header now, but if you want to change any of those colors, you can do that very easily here. Um, underneath scheme six, we're just going to click X. So we have scheme six selected here for the color scheme of this. Now to actually add the background image, we're gonna come over here. We're going to click on custom CSS. And now this code, I will have a link down below in the video description so that you can easily copy and paste this code for the Shopify store. Now I have already pasted this code up on this section here. So we're just gonna come over here and I am just going to copy this code here, right click and control C. So I'm just gonna be copying this little bit of code here. Um, and this is the custom CSS that will allow you to add the background image. And I'm going to paste it under the multi-column. We scroll down, custom CSS, and it will only apply to this section. So that's the important thing here. And the really nice thing too about Shopify having the custom CSS sections is it only applies within that section. So it's not gonna apply to your entire store. And when you go to update your Shopify theme, it will actually stay here because it is in the separate custom CSS section of your Shopify store. So you don't have to worry about things updating and breaking things. That's the other nice benefit of doing it this way. We're gonna go here and click Control V. So as you can see here, we now have the background image added. Now, of course, 
Um, as you can see, you can actually kind of see the multi-column text because we kept it as white text and now we have like a black little backdrop under each of the columns. And of course we haven't actually added a button, so that's just uh, null and void. But as you can see here, we now have the background image. Now, of course, this is the image that I had already uploaded previously for this other section. Um, so what I'm going to be showing you how to do is, of course, to add any image from your Shopify store, all you have to do, come back to the files tab. And again, I would recommend doing this maybe on multiple tabs on your Shopify store, just so you can keep multiple tabs open. Um, and then you're going to come over to the image that you want to use. We're going to do this... Um, we're gonna do the pocket watch on black. You have to, all you have to do is come over, mouse over it, click copy link. It will automatically copy it to your keyboard. And then you're gonna come back over here to the custom CSS, highlight the, in between the two uh, quotes, that's the, the URL, that's the area that we want to change. We highlight that and we click control V or paste. Um, and then it will load in the new image. As you can see here, we now have the pocket watch image on the store. And if you want to add maybe some more padding to see more of the image, you can do that here as well. If you want to maybe make it a little bit bigger, more visible, we're going to go ahead and click save. We're actually going to go take a look at what this looks like now on the live version of the store. We scroll as we can see and boom, now we have that nice big background image on that section in the Shopify store. Again, you can come through here and edit the button, edit any other parts that you want to do. And I think that looks pretty cool. You know, you have your background image um, in that section. Again, if you want to, you know, select a different one, you just go here, copy the link, and then paste it inside the background URL just within those little rabbit ears <laughs> in a way, just inside the little quotes from the HTTPS all the way down to the V equals and then the long number just between there. That's all that you're going to be editing and you can edit and paste in multiple, you know, just different images based on the URL just by uploading it to your Shopify stores file section. You can select any image that you want. Um, again, you can do this on other different sections too and keep using the code on other parts of your store. Um, but essentially that's how you add a background image to your Shopify store. Again, you have to make sure you have the transparent scheme edited. Uh, and, and then once you have that, you add the custom CSS and you're pretty much good to go. Um, and this is the multi-column. Now to save this out, all you have to do is come over here to the top right hand corner. Of course, we already did that. We click save and we click exit uh, and it will be saved in your Shopify stores theme. Again, we're just doing this on the homepage here for this tutorial, um, but boom, there you go. So now we have a background image on inside the different sections on your Shopify store. Pretty easy. Again, links are down below in the video description. And of course I do want to also mention if you don't already have a Shopify store, you can go and check out that first link down below in the video description. That's brandvaleski.com forward slash Shopify. It will take you right over to this page here where you can get started with a Shopify free trial. Again, that's that first link down below in the video description. If you guys found this tutorial helpful or enjoyed it, then be sure to smash that like button, hit the subscribe button as well, and notification bell so you're notified whenever I upload a new video. But anyway, guys, that is all for today's video, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.